Hey guys, I'm a South African artist. Follow my journey as I travel to various locations with the intention of producing an original painting. Keep watching to see the process from start to finish. Hey guys, we've come down to Boulders Beach. It's a beautiful day in Cape Town. Um, we're going to come check out the penguins. We're going to walk around Boulders Beach. You have to pay to get in. You need to, you need to pay, either have a um, card or uh, you can pay an entry fee. Um, keep the numbers down so there's not too many people. It's a, it is a restricted breeding area. So um, here we are. You can see over there, Roman Rock Lighthouse from the distance there. The mountain in the background there on the end, is that's Musenberg. That peak there is uh, Elsie's Peak with Bishop Bay coming down towards and Samstown directly behind me. Uh, what a beautiful day. Check the paddlers out there. There's a penguin down here actually. And there's a couple of penguins on the rocks over there. We are here. So there's actually a walkway that you can do for free. You can just walk there and check the penguins are all inside the bushes here. Otherwise you pay and you go in and you can access the beach. It's really beautiful. You can swim and, and they're on the beach there as well. So it's really nice. Some down this way. This is um, False Bay. So this we here at Boulders, you can see this is False Bay. So like I said earlier, these um, penguins mate for life. Check at these two. So these um, paddlers have come from Samsung. It's actually a tour you can do. On a nice day, you can, you can hire a ski, a kayak, and you can paddle with a tour guide. And he paddles you up the coast. And you can come and check out the penguins from the seaside.
fucking pe pepper pots. Look at that. It's so cute. So they have these boards with all this information on it. Very interesting information, for example, they feed within 20 kilometers of the breeding colony, so they forage out 20 kilometers. And they can hold their breath for two and a half minutes and dive up to depth of 130 meters, which is so deep. And uh, a couple of other inf interesting facts here. Um, a recent study revealed that a young African pigmen can clock up to an average of 45 kilometers a day, which is crazy for such a tiny little animal. But here's all the, there's, there's a whole lot of information, very um, well organized. The molting. Old worn feathers are replaced during the annual molt. In this period, the birds lose their waterproofing and are confined to land for about 21 days. African, African penguins fatten up before this molt, which is a period of starvation. And also, um, the main point about them is the African penguin is the only penguin that breeds in Africa and is restricted to the coastline and seas of southern Africa. Having undergone massive decline during the 20th century, we have a global responsibility to take care of its future. Okay guys, here we are at Samstown, on our way home, we're going to have a quick beer and then um, tomorrow into the studio, do the painting, hope you enjoy, cheers. Okay guys, here's the final painting. You can see um, a bit of details here. The penguin was wet. So you can see a bit of um, water droplets on the feathers here. Uh, check his webbed feet. Um, it's quite fun going down there to uh, boulders. Check the eye there. Cute little bird. I think this is almost life size. So um, they're endangered. Hopefully they can carry on breeding there at boulders safely. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to my channel and go check my website out. And cheers.